Hello friend, welcome. So in the last video, we add a button right under our game board. Let's see it. Run it. Yeah, here's the reset button, and uh, it it doesn't do anything. When we click it, let's implement this button's functionality. Okay. So, um, let's go to the controller here. Here is where we add the button, right? We set button and we can set its functionality this way. We set button. We set button dot add action listener. So we need to create the action listener. Action listener is an, an interface type. So new action action listener. So when we press enter here, right? And Eclipse will create the default code like that. So to implement this, so this is like an anonymous function implementing, okay, so anonymous um, class to implement this interface with this required method, action performed, okay? So the new here, this is an, um, this is an interface type. So normally we cannot create an object of an interface, but here what it does is it create an anonymous class without a class without a name, right? Which implements this interface. Okay. Like that. So now we can put a, let's test this with a print, okay? So hopefully we can see this single line every time when we click the button now let's run it so stop here and run again click the button boom yeah the button works you see the button works now let's put the real thing here we need to reset the uh the game board okay we rely on we rely on the um our model right to do the thing so let's go to the model to add a reset but uh, reset function or method mm -hmm. so let's put it here piece that let's put it under here okay so reset void reset how do we reset um we'll remove all the pieces inside the pieces box right dot remove all we need to provide a correction the correction we can just use itself right we will remove everything inside itself so and another thing don't forget we need to reset the, the initial player in turn right to set it to prayer prayer dot red yeah now the reset is done we can save it and uh, go back to here and uh, remove that so we can call game dot reset like that and uh, we still need to repaint, right? Don't forget that. Repaint. Otherwise, we still s see the old display. Okay, so we need to update the repaint, the uh, update the screen status, right? After we reset the game. Now let's try it. So we can stop it here. Mm 
that put some pieces here and we set yeah it works and reset yes cool so now let's go back to git uh, perspective to commit those two changes okay and uh, we can say implement it and logic for reset button and commit and push done thank you for watching see you next time